Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today it's Monday morning. Yesterday I was uh, I was at the races. I was at Snetterton uh, watching the uh, the race cars. Yeah. There's all sorts of different race cars. I had a great day. And thanks to Wiggles, a friend of mine, for working out. So that was great. Really enjoyed it. So today we're starting to take the cattle out. And on the back we've got the first load going out this morning. And then later on we're going to start doing the concreting hopefully. So. There's lots of different things going on. I've got to go fairly steady because it's quite a rough old roads down here and we've got the cattle on the back. So I'm trying to get the cows out really, that's what we're doing today. We've got a lovely day for it. We've been really lucky with the weather actually over the weekend. So it's just dried up enough on one of the fields that we can start letting them out. And um, of course the problem is the road is so rough on these back roads you can't go too quick because obviously they're full of potholes. So until they resurface the road, which I just think they probably won't do for another couple of years, I don't know. It's going to be a rough ride, so we've got to go slow. Taking them down to the marshes and we cut a few out. Wait a minute, let me put my mount up here a minute. Here you go. So, as you can hopefully see, we're rolling. We've got the rollers on the back, got the six line on the go. I let the air out of the tyres. These are the Exio bib tyres, and oh my word, made such a big difference. Amazing. Um, never used these tyres for rolling before. Uh, seven tens on the back, I think they're 600s or 650s on the front. And yeah, you, you can let the pressures down to, I've, I've let them down to 5 psi, and some people let them down to even lower than that. But the whole idea is it's ground pressure. It's all about reducing your ground pressure in the tyres. The Exio bib Michelins allow you to do that. These just came with the tractor. The next tyres I'm looking at for this tractor will be BKT. Oh, a wonderful day. Couldn't ask for better weather, to be honest. Uh, great tractor as well, one of my, of course, my favourite tractor doing this job. Uh, downside today is that the uh, the aircon has packed up in this tractor, so when I put my aircon on, it is like breathing fire. <laughs> it is, my aircon is completely gone, um, but I have got Jack the mechanic to coming out to regas it at some point, so that'll probably, hopefully be, it'll probably be by the weekend, but uh, yeah, we're going to have some hot aircon for another another couple of days unfortunately so as you can see I've, I've got the windows open uh, downside to that rolling is you let all the dust in the cab but there you go you can't have it all in life or sometimes I guess um, also on the farm as well at the moment Alan Collier's in the yard they're digging up the yard getting it ready for concreting I'm going to take the uh, the drone out we've got the drone in the cab I'll release it in, out into the air and hopefully we can see what they're up to in the yard at the moment they're digging up the yard getting that ready uh, whilst we're out here doing the rolling. So we've got two different jobs going on and we've been really lucky with the weather. It's just started to dry up, so I can't really complain at the moment, to be honest. Of course, the only downside is the, my aircon. That being said, it's a good thing we're using this tractor on this job because come silage, at least the aircon will be prepared for then. And I've learned a lot today as well about tyre pressures and tyre technology and I think looking into the future I'll try and spec a tractor with some good tyres. The other tractor in the yard, the 6R, that has some really skinny tyres on that one and it weighs quite a bit. It's about 7.5 tonne that tractor, unweighted, with the loader brackets and it really does leave a mess on the field. So yeah, you could go for some slightly wider tyres I guess next time. Another thing is I might pick up some second-hand flotation tyres at like a farm auction or something like that and um, because I've, I've really noticed the improvement rolling this year with well, slightly wider tyres. I mean obviously 710 tyres like this not great for ploughing because they're going to 
to sit in the furrow, they're gonna, you know, it's not great for ploughing. You, you want the skinnier tyres for ploughing, really. Um, things like irrigation work, row crop work, you know, all that sort of thing, potatoes, all the rest of it. So, yeah, I, I could probably do a set of rotations. Um, other than that, this tractor's nearly repaired. Just the aircon to go, really. A couple of cab filters in the back need to be repaired. Um, yesterday, on another subject, I went to Snetterton. Had the most fantastic day there, really enjoyed it. And there was loads of classic cars there, sort of classic B16 Chevrons, stuff like that, Lotuses, all that good stuff. Just down the road from the farm in Norfolk here. Really good day out, really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping in the next few weeks to go to some tractor rallies, uh, ploughing days uh, coming up, and I need to get off the farm and go and see some machinery places at some point. I've asked for a few demos. The world's in a funny place at the moment, as everyone knows. So I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll try a demo of something. Uh, that being said, if we can't get any demos because of the part shortage, tractor shortage, we'll look at classic tractors. I'm not, I'm not too concerned really, I'm not too worried. You know, if the world's, if it's going to be like that, it's going to be the way it's going to be basically. I can't do anything about it. So, um, yeah, certainly some interesting times we're in. I mean, I'm trying to take the farm in a, in a direction at the moment with diversification. There's a, a couple of diversified businesses which I'm trying to operate and it's really hard because I'm, I'm trying to steer them this way and they're sort of going that way at the moment. But you'll find out what I mean in a couple of months time if, if all goes well. Um, it's to do with machinery, so it should be quite a fun, a fun new project which should evolve on the farm. But it's, I'm trying to get it to pull together, and it's sort of, it's not going the way I want it to go yet. The farm is going well, but the diversified business is, is not going the way I want it to go. And I can't say anything about it as of yet. That's all I can say. But you'll find out in the future. So I've got to get this finished before it rains. And I've just got this little strip here to finish. I'll show you what I mean about the tire pressures when I get out of the cab at the end of this row. Got a lot of hairs over there, which have been grazing these, uh, grazing this barley off. It's been an absolute nightmare. Same with the deers. Although there's not actually as many deer as, as there was, because luckily we've uh, started to get on top of them a little bit. But, I mean, you look, you look at the sort of job that's doing. It's not damaging the land too much. You know, it's not doing too bad a job, to be fair. So obviously trying to drive and steer the tractor at the same time. I haven't got GPS on this tractor because it's not auto track ready, unfortunately. That being said, it's not a bad thing. Just something else to go wrong. 6R does have the auto track and all the latest green star and all that sort of jazz. And to be honest, the older I get, the more I rely on the older tractors, to be honest, because they're just easy to work on, maintain and fix. I mean, this, this tractor, you know, Anyone can work on it near enough, you know, farmers can work on it. It's what I love about the old stuff, rather than having all the new latest gadgets and all the latest razzmatazz. So I think if anything, there'll be some old tractors on the farm rather than new ones going into the future. But yeah, try and get this done and uh, then we'll be getting on. I'm gonna go in the yard when I get back tonight and I'll just go and see what sort of a job they've been doing. Cause I'm dying to see what the yard's looking like uh, since it's all been sort of dug up and gotten ready for concrete. So what I mean about the tyres quickly and about the air conditioning issue as well. So you can see they're running pretty low at the moment, they're on about 5 psi. I could probably let a bit more out of them but they are getting on, they're old tyres these ones so I don't want to take the mick with them too much otherwise it'll, it'll blow back in my face and they'll probably go bang so I, I've got to be careful but like I say they're running at 5 psi now, they're great so I don't want to go too hard but yeah if you look in here look. Oh, she goes. There's a little compressor there, and I think that compressor has been leaking. It's leaked all the air out from the aircon, and that's why my aircon's not working. I've cleaned the filter out, all the cab filters, done everything. But yeah, it's going to be a, a regas job at the end of the week, so nothing I can do about it for now. But um, like I say, I love these tyres. Oh, amazing. I did price a new setup, and they're 12,000. I'm not going to buy a new set, they're too expensive, so I'll go for BKT next time. But you have to find a special set of tyres which fit on those rims, they're a special type of rim. Um, but yeah, the best tyres I've ever used in my life, amazing. I mean, you can just see where we've been, they just haven't even left a mark. Um, obviously the lower you go with the PSI, with the pressure, the, 
the better a job you'll do, the, the less of a mark you'll leave. I mean, I, I've, I'm just flabbergasted. I've never seen tyres like it in my life. Uh, this is the first time I've used these sort of modern V-Flecto, Exobib, low ground pressure tyres. So yeah, yeah, this is what they are. I mean, they're bloody brilliant tyres. So they've got a bit of a slip there. I've got to be careful. This is what I mean. They're, you know, that's been there a fair while, that has. Exobibs, amazing, amazing tyres. Brilliant, brilliant tyres. So you look at that. Awesome. Right, so it's now come up to six o'clock, so I'm just done this field. We'll go back to the yard, grease the rollers up, and we'll come back and do the rest tomorrow morning. So we'll go and see the job in the yard. Right. I'm now uh, back in the yard, just dropped the tractor off for the evening, so it'll stay there. I've still got to get a few nuts for the uh, Rims, I need to go to the dealership. I'll go there Wednesday, I think. And um, see so if you look there, rollers on the back, grease them up. So that's all done. Wash the tractor off for the next load. I'll show you the cattle tomorrow or the day after because we'll go and check them. I didn't get any film of them coming off, unfortunately, because the uh, it's always a bit of a bit of a difficult one trying to film and move the cattle around all the rest of it. So yeah, this is what's been going on. So hopefully you can see it. I've got to move this. Um, plastic wrap out of the way i'll do that when my dinner's on i've got my dinner on tonight but yeah look at this this looks better doesn't it so this is going to be the concrete area for this year so i hope it'll be concreted from there all the way back to those roller doors that side and then there's a drain here which is going to catch all the water which will work out pretty well so that, that's awesome they're doing a great job today that's brilliant so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to see how it goes over the next couple of days unfortunately i couldn't be around today because i was doing the rolling still got rolling to do tomorrow as well but the the weather's quite dry i've been lucky with the weather so uh be rolling for the next day anyway i'll try and get it finished all tomorrow and then it'll be done so yeah i'm gonna get my dinner now the tractor's going well the tractor's needs its uh, air conditioning repaired as I, as I said earlier um other than that it's going quite well um except the diversified business which is a machinery business which i've got which is an idea and uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a while. So, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, Rome wasn't built in a day, so it will take a long time to do it, I think. But it should be worth it, I think. So, yeah. Uh, if you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you've got anything you want to add to today's video, I really like those tyres, those Exeo bibs. Amazing tyre technology. And, you know, growing up, I always used to see them, and they were sort of in the back of the Farmers Weekly about... £10,000 for a set of Axia bibs or 15000 and I, I used to think to myself god that, that's a lot of money for a pair of tyres um, but actually when you see them working in the field they are pretty cool so yeah um, I know at some point we'll have to change those tyres and um, they've got a few slits in them and they are getting worn down to the rubber but um, I wouldn't buy a new set but I would probably look at some cheaper ones which which do the same job some some sort of low pressure cheap alternatives so yeah keep liking and subscribing I'll catch you on the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel. And click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.